Further north, the landscape becomes a savanna, strewn here and there with rocky outcrops. In the west, the Atacora mountain range lies between Benin and neighboring Togo. It is in this dusty region, battered by the Harmattan desert wind, that the Somba people live. From an ancient past, when tribal wars were a regular occurrence, they have preserved their habitat, strongholds called Tata Samba. Nowadays, the Samba people live peacefully as subsistence farmers. They have never left the Tata Samba, around which all of their traditions are organized. The local landlord, called Basai, is also the community's healer. He is a medicine man who treats patients with plants and by invoking the spirits of the dead. These anxious parents have brought a young girl suffering from malaria to see him. Have you got the products I gave you earlier? Yeah, I have it with me. Give it to me. Quiet, darling. You're going to be all right. Add this powder to a bowl of stew and make her drink it. Do that for seven days and then come back so I can see if she is cured. My father and grandfather were healers. Before he died, my father left me this tata. It is this house which bestows good health on people, because the soul of my father and that of my ancestors live on here. That gives me the power to heal people. For Samba people, their spirituality comes from the cult of their ancestors. The dead aren't really dead, as long as they are not forgotten. And each deceased individual, represented by a mound of earth, ensures the happiness and protection of the living. Downstairs, the Tatars are temples to these ancestors, and they also serve as sheepfolds. The roofs, which once contained bedrooms, now serve as grain stores for the winter. Father, it's my initiation ceremony tomorrow. I want to know what's going to happen. Dominique, I am not allowed to tell you. You must find out for yourself. But it's all part of growing up and becoming a man. And well, then what? Then you can take a wife and move into your own Tata. I'm ready. I'm glad to hear it. My father used to say, our lives begin in these Tatas. So you must keep your Tata the way our ancestors taught us. That's important because it will be the scene of all your ceremonies. The initiation of your future sons and daughters their weddings, and even your funeral. Those are our traditions. Basai's son, Dominique, has just turned 18. The Council of Elders has decided that tomorrow he will begin the rites of passage into adulthood. This week of initiation is a turning point in the life of a somber man. It is an obligatory step without which he cannot take a wife or play a role in this patriarchal society. When the time comes for him to leave, Dominique knows that he is engaging in a process from which there is no return. He will no longer live in the house that he was born in.
Dominique, your initiation starts today. You have grown up. Receive the holy water, be well, and come back stronger. Your parents give you their blessing. When you return from this initiation ceremony, you will have changed. You will have grown up. Dominique goes off into the bush, where he will spend eight days being subjected to the secret initiation rituals performed by the chiefs. Meanwhile, everyone busies themselves doing up Dominique's new home. Like everywhere else in the world, Benin is turning towards individualist values. The Samba people are also undergoing this transformation with the noticeable outcome that the Tata Samba are being abandoned. They require an enormous collective effort of building and renovation. That is unpaid work that few people can afford. But luckily, in the village of Bukumbe, the values of solidarity live on. Villagers, neighbors, and family members have come to lend a hand to do up the Tata that Dominique will soon move into. In Somba tradition, after your initiation ceremony, you must go to your own Tata and build a home for yourself. That's why we're doing up this Tata for Dominique. The men do the building work, but we add a feminine touch. We women are in charge of maintaining and doing up the tatas. This place represents a link between life and death. Our spirits are hidden here. If this house disappears, our ancestors will disappear with it, and they won't be able to do any more for us. A week later, Dominique's Tata Samba is ready, just as he and two other boys emerge from their initiation ceremony. The adults take it in turn to carry the initiates on their shoulders before placing them on the ground to symbolize the passage to adulthood. From this moment on, they must stand on their own two feet. Dominique and his fellow initiates leave the group and head off to make their Tata Samba their own. As a hangover from past wars, Dominique climbs onto the roof and scours his surroundings for enemies. From today, it is down to him to defend his home and his land. The symbolic fight the young men are engaging in is the final stage of initiation, proof that they are now capable of defending themselves without any help from their fathers. It is traditional for them to share a beer afterwards, to mark the end of the fight, and a newfound friendship amongst the young initiates. It also marks the start of the celebrations. I'm very proud of this celebration. When it is over, my son will be free. He has not transgressed once during his initiation. He has passed all the stages without failing. That makes me very happy.
new life begins for the young man. Today I'm very happy. I used to live with my father, but now I'm a man. I'm sure I'll get married soon. The girls will think, there's a handsome boy who's come through his initiation rites in fine form. I've watched my father maintaining our traditions. He's kept them alive for me. And in turn, I'm ready to spend the rest of my life defending our land. When I bring a child into the world, I want to pass on all this knowledge. And that child will preserve the house of his ancestors too. An ancient culture devoted to the cult of its ancestors lives on in the land of the Somba people. Here, like in the rest of Benin, spirituality is both a weapon and a tool to protect a precious and fragile heritage. <laughs>